Hi everybody, welcome back. So, um, today I have decided that um, I would show you how, this is the first time I've ever done this by the way, um, how to make um, a mixing medium to use with your eyeshadows and pigments. Now I've done quite a lot of research and I will link below some um, poignant links for you just in case um, you're concerned um, about making your own mixing medium. Now there's only two ingredients to this. One is glycerin and I've bought um, cosmetic grade glycerin and then just water. But the one thing I will say is your sort of mixing mediums that you'll buy from cosmetics or pharmaceutical companies um, have got preservatives um, and things in them. And obviously, because we're only using the two ingredients, we're not going to be able to have the preservatives. So it is advised that you make your mixing medium in small amounts decant it into a, a sealable bottle or spray bottle and then you refresh it every um, every week, every two weeks at the absolute out, you know, at the most. Um, obviously you don't want to be putting um, water that's, you know, sort of stagnant water that's been knocking around for a long time um, on your eye area, really. Um, so this is just my little intro. Obviously, we'll be um, making the mixing medium, and you won't see my face, so um, we'll do a little, um, like a little review at the end. I'll um, show you how it works and um, basically the results that you'll get with the mixing medium. So let's crack on. Right, so I've got all the little bits and pieces that we're going to need to make the mixing medium. So you're going to need, as I said, um, glycerine. Uh, preferably cosmetic grade glycerin, just plain water, um, a measuring device and some like a little container to put your mixing medium into. So let's have a look. So here I am all set up ready to go. So here's my water, it's fresh cold water, the vegetable glycerin which is buff and butter vegetable glycerin, um, my little measuring device um, and one of these little teeny weeny um, spray bottles. Now you can get these on eBay um, for really 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 cheap um, and I've got lots and lots of these. I've put all sorts of things in them, brush cleaner, um, toner, just plain water for a facial spritz, um, you know the facial oils that you can get. I, I dilute them a tiny little bit so they'll actually go through the spray pump um, so that you can spray them rather than getting the oil absolutely everywhere. So let's let's move on. So I know that this little container will only hold um, 20 mils inside it and we have to make the mixing medium three parts water to um, one part glycerin. So working that out, I'm, I'm appalling at maths but even I could manage that, if we put 5 mils of the mixing medium and 15 mils of the um, water, that would be the right, um, the right ratios and we should have really good mixing medium. So let's get started. So first of all, I think I'm going to do the water. You watch me spill it everywhere now. So that's 20, that's too much. a little bit too much. That looks about right to me so rather than get it everywhere and I can't find a little siphon anywhere hopefully my pouring hands are steady. Ooh. So there's the water in and let's move on to the glycerin. So it's in a dropper, so oh dear, this is going to take ages and ages and ages. Haha. <laughs> so I've just removed the top. It has no scent to it at all. It is quite greasy though. Um, mind you, it's supposed to have moisturising properties, so let's go for this. 
It's really gloopy as well. That looks just a tiny bit more because I'm sure someone's going to get stuck inside the uh, measuring cylinder. So that looks now a little bit more, I think. That looks about right. I'm not too sure how this is going to go in here, to be honest, but let's find out. Oh, not too badly, I think. I'm glad I put the water in first because it's made the glycerin slip quite well. So there we go. And we put the lid on. And give it a good old shake. Ooh, making my uh, candle thingies rattle. And it's just just dissolved into the water. So next stage, let's try it out with some eyeshadows. Oh, I'm super excited. Back in a minute. Right. So here I am back with my uh, mixing medium and um, my trusty chocolate and peaches palette and also um, a benefit lust duster because um, I'm struggling to find uh, the rest of the pigments that I own but I thought these would give us a good representative, representative, still can't say it, representative sample. Is that even a word? It gives us a good idea on how the mixing medium works. Okay, so let's have a go. I think we better make sure it sprays first, haven't we? And it sprays. Hurrah! Chuffed about that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch some of these shades um, with just my finger. And then I'm going to use the mixing medium as well to see how much more pigmentation we get from the mixing medium. So this is one of my favourite shades in this palette. Um, so first of all, I'm going to try that. So there it is by itself. Let's now try it with... A little bit of the mixing medium so I sprayed a little onto my finger so now I'm just going to swatch this colour pop it down there the difference there I think you can see is pretty good I'm actually really really thrilled with this so let's go again, let's go again, I want to do more now. So let's try it on a brush with a different shade. Now this shade, this goldy shade in this palette, I absolutely adore, but it's such an absolute devil to get it to actually, to get the payoff from the colour. So let's, let's try this one on a different finger. It's bumpy because I've dug at it that much. So let's go there with it. So you can see it there, but you can't really see a lot. So let's spray our homemade mixing medium on and then, oops, I think I might have just wet this too, too, too much. I think I might have ruined it. So where did I swatch it? There. Oh wow, so looking close up you can definitely see that the payoff is better on the, um, but I've wet the palette, I've wet this shade, see if I can sort of dry it a little bit, oh I'm upset now, oh well I'll get some rubbing alcohol on it if there's too much of a problem, um, so let's Let's try um, on a brush. I think that would be a good idea, trying on a brush. So let's try with this shade here. 
This has got like a duo chrome to it. It's got a, a red glitter and it's quite a dark brown. It's lovely. So this is on a nice clean brush. So let's try it. Uh, we'll try it there. So there we go. You can see the colour there. Just a little bit closer. So let's spray the brush. Oh, that was a rubbish spray. And just dry it off a little. Oh, it's all over. <laughs> I've sprayed it all over the palette. Right, so let's see. So there we go, that's with the brush. And that's with the brush with the mixing medium. I think it's safe to say that this is working really, really well. And even when they, they're sort of drying out, I mean, this one's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I'm so pleased with that. So one last go, I think. Um, and I don't know where you look. Mirror's wet. Um, I think we'll try um, a goldy shade. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to do the uh, swatch with my finger and then I'm going to use the dampened brush with the mixing medium on it to try and um, make the colour pop more, just a, an alternative way. So let's do the finger swatch here. Okay, so do it further up my arm. I mean, that's a really pigmented shade anyway, and I absolutely adore this shade in this palette. So let's now see if by using the damping brush, um, if we can just get this. This to really, really stand out. And I think it's safe to say that we can. Look at that now, it, it just seems so much more intense and glowy. I'm, I'm thrilled with the results here. I mean, so here's with the mixing medium, here with the mixing medium, this was with the mixing medium, this was just a finger swatch and then the mixing medium tapped on over the top on a sort of damping brush. But I think the results are absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Um, so yeah, make your own mixing medium for next to nothing and create some really, really intense eyeshadow shades for a fraction, a fraction, a fraction of the price. So that's me done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please like and subscribe. Please leave me your comments as well. Let me know how you get on with the, um, the uh, mix and medium. If you do try it out, I'd love to hear other people's stories as well. Um, and also look into glycerin as a, a moisturiser and a skin treatment. And the things that it is, is good for is absolutely mind boggling. So go and check it out. So thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.